Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get his opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you hit the opening call. It's right on the left-hand side. You can hit subscribe. You get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. When you do get Basil's newsletter, Basil's done approximately 10 to 11 archives out there. You get access to all those archives. Great education, folks. Check it out at TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. The market's not doing great, but uh, bottom line is that uh, pretty intense, actually. Yeah. It is actually intense. And uh, a couple of things going on. Uh, one is, I, I don't know if you recall, but uh, last week I said that we've been short the Dow in an intermediate term position from around about 33,300. And that goes back to uh, August. But we also want to do trade on a near term basis, the, a rally that we saw. So we had the Dow Diamonds, that's like along the Dow, for a very nice rally. And then we got stopped out for uh, small gains today on the on the pullback. So we're now left with just the short position. But most importantly, you see this week, this is the weekly chart in the middle. See these two trend lines, one's green, one's red. I call that the inside track repellent or propellant zone. So okay. we're right there now. As yeah. uh, we're down 1139, uh, 31,241. So there's another pattern that I look at all the time, which is, a straight line up, straight line down. That's one. And then a cup formation or an arch formation. So in this particular pattern right here, it's red because if you come down sharply, then you try to run and you only get to a peak A or a B. And then you come down and you take out that left side. That's low. the dreaded H, right? That's what we call the dreaded H. All the only right. reason why we call it dreaded H is because um, it, you could get even a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside from the H if it takes out that left side low. Right. So both in the daily chart and the weekly chart, as we're talking right now, uh, we are just about to test the trend line, the uptrend line, the lowest trend line, which is the support level. If we take that out and we close underneath 31,182, which was the low back, uh, it was on the 6th of September, that's really not good at all. It means that the MACD is deflected lower. So this is a very critical level. Now, you were talking about a bonds, and I'll just show you this chart. We had looked at it last week. Um, I, I mentioned that this cup pattern that pulls back, we were looking at this, the subscribers were looking at this saying, there's a really good chance that we're going to make a cup and a handle. Not one of my favorite patterns, but you've got to be careful because we've already taken out that 34.72. That's the 30-year TY, uh, TYX. Uh, that's the 30-year uh, yield, and th uh, we what the high today so far is 34. Whoops, where did we go? 34.58. Uh, so we're just underneath it. We we're really close to taking it out. But you can see these are the white is the 30-year, the brown is the 10-year uh, yield, and the uh, cyan is the five-year T-note yield. And look at this. I mean, we've, we've not seen patterns like this for a very long time. So we've got to respect that yields are, are breaking to the upside. They haven't really taken out decisively on this a weekly chart, on a weekly basis, that left side high that was made at 34.72, 3.472 would be the percentage right. there. But we are really close. And look how it's affecting. This is with the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. It's starting to go back down to the 200-period moving average. It's impacting the Philadelphia Housing Index, which is the HGX. So we've got to respect what's going on here as, um, as something that we haven't seen in quite a while, where the Fed is, in, in a way, they're kind of forced to, to raise rates. So how it impacts the market is going to be very important. So within that context, uh, if you're looking at um, the IAI, which is the, I always talk about this as the broker dealer ETF, um, it had a really nice rally going from the uh, 91 area up to 98, and now it's given back a chunk. 
but actually is holding quite well. So there are signs within this whole conglomeration of different indices and, and uh, different stocks that are, or even the, the, in this case, it's an ETF, the IAA, the Broker Dealer Index, that say there is support. Now, most importantly, if at 94 in, in September, if we see the IAI start to take out 90 support, that's going to be really important because that that's... I mean, they, that's. I like to think of the broker dealer index as kind of being a leading indicator. Yes. It's starting to rally. It, you know, it means that people are buying stocks. If it starts to fail, they're selling. So there are a lot of things going on here. So we've whittled down uh, the cash position. Um, at least we've increased the cash position, whittled down our stocks, put in the stops very tightly. And I think that's all you can do here. We've had some very nice positions on the upside, but. You know, you can give them back so quickly. So you got you got to just be very careful. I tell you, they uh, they're going to have a hard time bringing this inflation down, man. I, I don't I don't quite understand why. You know, uh, it, it seems like markets think that the inflation is going to come down in you know a year or something. I mean, I I've only seen the inflation hit once, but. When it hit, man, I mean, it was unbelievable. And you right. know, it took like four and a half years to bring it back. I, that was with Volcker, yes. Yeah. And, and even more important than that, it, it's all the repercussions of the of the yields going higher. So, yeah, and, and not only that, we've got to be watching things like crude oil. Uh, crude oil is down at the lower end of the, of the range at 87. But if we start to see crude oil suddenly spike higher, that's going to be very important. I'm not sure. I think that crude oil is telling us that there's kind of a weak economy right now. So I'm be watching this very closely. So this is a time for caution. And as I said, we, we wanted quick trades, near term trades, which have worked out nicely. Most of them have not everything. But I, I think conserving cash is really important. Yo, oh, there's no doubt, man. <laughs> and you know, in this particular case, folks, when they say cash is king, it's not only king, it's king all over the world. You know, for for sure, that's right. Yeah, yeah. talk about uh, the king. Well, you're, you're looking at the dollar. Uh, we're still along the dollar. The dollar's up uh, 1.51 today. It's holding in the upper part of the range, and it's only in leg C in the monthly chart. So there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of aspects in this market that are a little unusual, uh, in the sense that you know if the dollar keeps rallying strongly, that's going to impact profits from the international companies. So we've got we've got to watch very closely, but I do think that we will get we as we did before. You can get very nice trades to the upside, but you've got to be very nimble. Yeah, they're not out there today, man. <laughs> yeah, today I mean down at eleven fifty one. That's yeah. a big number. Yeah. 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 Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. We're gonna go right under newsletters. You're gonna see the opening call on the left hand side, second one down, hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Bows, you have a great one, a safe one, and of course we look forward to the show tomorrow. You too, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.